What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out US Complete's first dogfight between AI-controlled F-16 and human pilot. This is by Forces News. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to watch this. Uh, I I didn't... I, this is only six days old, this uh, video, and I honestly can't even wrap my head around this being a real thing. Um, an AI-controlled F-16. It's like the start of any apocalyptic movie, isn't it? It's terrifying, and I want to know what it's all about. It's a short video. It's only a minute 30, but we're going to check it out. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to figure out what the hell's going on, and is this the start of the next apocalypse? The next apocalypse? Has there already been an apocalypse? Maybe there has. Either way, it's terrifying, and we're going to learn all about it. Don't forget, uh, if you want to watch these videos without me talking over the top of it, you can certainly do that down in the description down below. There'll be a link to the video, and you don't have to hear me waffling over the top of it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're nearly at half a million subscribers. We are so close, guys. We are on the final countdown. Um, and I'm very excited to go live and have a party when it happens. What else? Also, for the first time in like four years that I've been on YouTube, I have finally linked all the equipment I use to make my videos in the description down below. Um, it's down there. It's obviously Amazon affiliate links, but... And it supports the channel if you buy through them links. But um, people have been asking me for years and I've just never got around to doing it. So I figured out I'd finally do it. You know, the, the audio, the mouse, keyboard, monitors, camera, lights, all that stuff down in the description down below. There's also a little bit of my five current favorite books that I've read recently. So if you want to check them out, you can do in the description as well. Other than that, let's shut up. Let's read this actually first real quick on the... Description down here, it says, History has been made by a U.S. military outfit that conducted the first in-air dogfight between a human pilot and an AI-controlled fighter jet. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, has released footage of AI algorithms auto autonomously flying a special modified F-16 against a human-piloted F-16 and performed weaving maneuvers as they go through the sky. DARPA said this represented a transformational moment in aerospace history. It's definitely transformational and it's terrifying. The an AI F16. It's just like vibing in the sky. Don't know how I feel about it. Let's let's watch this. A first for aerial combat as an autonomous fighter jet has managed to successfully engage in dogfighting maneuvers against a manned F16. Wait a second, that looked like it was the manned F-16. You can just see a head there. I'm presuming that's the manned one anyway. And F-16. The AI-controlled aircraft faced off against the human pilot at Edwards Air Base in California. This marks a major breakthrough in autonomous capability oh, for geez. aerial combat. The two F-16 jets practice both defensive and offensive maneuvers. At oh, why are they teaching it? Why are they teaching it? To, come on, DARPA, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is not okay. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. This is not a vibe. I guess they don't have AI currently uh, filling them up with gas to get them in the sky, so eventually they'll run out of gas, but still, maybe they will one day. Oh, I just... <sighs> AI is going to destroy us, guys. Speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour are engaged in visual range combat coming within 2,000 feet of each other. Oh, my God. X-62A Variable Stability In-Flight Simulator Test Aircraft, known as Vista, is a modified version of an F-16. Is that the AI one? Do they just put dummies in there just to make it look like real people? Fitted with an AI program. The system uses an algorithm to analyze data. No, it's moving. Real-time decisions in the air. The, the, the head was moving then like that. The machine so. learning process is designed to copy how pilots hone their dogfighting skills during their training and service. No, I don't want them to learn anything. I don't want them to learn. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> we don't want it. I don't want it. Play. Come on. The jet has been developing its capability on 21 test flights and more than 17 flight hours. The breakthrough, which happened in September but has only just been announced, breakthrough. has been described as a transformational moment in aerospace history. No. David Civils McCann, Forces News. No. Don't just don't just call off the, the rest of the video there like that. This is terrifying. So this one must be the AI one, because when I was watching him let me mute it so I can talk over it. When I was watching him go past each other. Actually they both turn at the same time. 
It looks like he turns to his left, so he's the blue. And the pink must be the AI. Oh, my days. What are you doing? What are we looking at here? So if the blue is human and the pink is AI, he's looking through here at what it's, what it's doing. Oh, my days. This shouldn't be real. It shouldn't be real, but it is. So this is the human flight one. To be fair, this might be just separate footage, to be honest with you. Um, because they are, they're moving their heads in there. So it might be separate footage. That is absolutely terrifying. I mean, imagine if it, I said in a recent video, I think it was the F-35 um, carrying nukes video, that um, if there was ever a world war, all we can do is extrapolate um, from previous world wars and project what a next world war would look like if, and God forbid there is one, I hope there is never another world war, um, if there was, technology would advance incredibly quickly. Think about the technology between the start and end of World War One and the start of end of World War Two. Like the technology advancements were crazy, and we're at this point now. If World War Three kicks off tomorrow, which it's not going to, let's hope it doesn't. The advance between the start and the end currently would be you wouldn't even be able to comprehend it. There would be AI drone fighter jets all over the place everything would be unmanned there'd be nukes going off there'd be it, there would be satellites being shot down there would just be pure chaos in ways you cannot even think and i think that doing stuff like this i get why they're doing it right if america doesn't do it china's gonna do it russia's gonna do it inevitably i get that i totally get that but it's as if we all just need to just calm down for a second Everyone just calm down for a second. Just let's have a think about what we do. Do you know what we do? Get all the leaders, all of them. Put them, put them on some psychedelic mushrooms in the forest for a bit together. Wait for them to come out and they'll all be best friends and the world will live on and we'll be happy forever. That's it. That's it. That's my, that's my guess. <laughs> we just make them do that and we'll be happy forever. I, I saw a good quote by... Um, the legendary military bushcraft um, expert, Ray Mears, if you don't know who he is, I grew up watching his stuff, he's a legend. He said, if you could get all the leaders to sit around a campfire, then a lot of the world's problems would be solved because everyone's just got to chat. Everyone's going to have smoke in the face at some point of the night and everyone's got to put wood on the fire and everyone's got to work together. And when you, pe when you put people in an environment where they have to work together, they inevitably start to agree on certain things. Not everything, obviously, but they start to collaborate and understand each other. And that's what we need more of. Not AI piloted F-16s, my God. Link in the description if you want to watch the original video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're nearly at half a million. Let's do it. Let's get there. Let's have a party. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.